It's time for Stuff My Mom Forwards Me. And this is a current email making the rounds. It says, mix orange juice with cream of tartar to help flush nicotine out of your body so you won't have a craving. It will also significantly change the taste of nicotine. So if you have a craving, drink this mixture to help fight the urge. All right, yeah, so I'm, I'm, okay. I'm willing to try this. So I, don't have, okay. I don't have any nicotine cravings, but. I don't either, let's try it. Tastes like orange Tastes juice. Tastes like orange juice. Just a little more tart. <laughs> but. Maybe. Yeah. But drinking juice could be a distraction. Anything yeah. you do that is a distraction that's different than Chewing smoking gum. a cigarette yeah. could work. Anything. So in that, in that respect, maybe. But what's really interesting, and as we were doing research for this, is there's a study out there that a lot of these viral tips that are not true. Mm -hmm. Incidentally, the not true ones spread faster and farther than the actually true advice that's out there on the internet. And that was yep. studied. Think I guess about that. MIT did a study, and they don't yeah. mess around over there at MIT, right? They do not. False news travels quicker and is believed more often. That's hard. So let's give it some. Is, yeah. Let's give some real news. Okay. Let's give people three tips to stop the nicotine craving. Okay, so tip number one is that some research shows that drinking ginseng tea may be therapeutic when it comes to nicotine addiction because it can weaken the effect of dopamine that's released when a person smokes tobacco. So drink a little ginseng tea and maybe it'll decrease the smoking appeal and just, you know, make your smoking less enjoyable. Okay, do you have ginseng tea there? I guess you I know. do not have ginseng tea. I know you have a hat. You've got orange juice and an axe. axe. All right, my next tip, if you want to not Pick up that cigarette, take a whiff. What you do is you create your own little jar, like an ashtray jar, of old butts and residue and... Is it bad? It's bad. It's awful. Ooh, that's oh, bad. I like that tip. That's I a mean, good tip. I, I, I don't I want like to be around tip. cigarettes in any shape or form after taking that whiff, so that may work. That's a good tip to axe the habit. <laughs> tip number can, three. I like, can you? You, you guys don't way. even know. You know how I am with a gavel. Right. You do not want me to have this axe every day here on this stage. <laughs> Trust me. But tip number three is use technology. There are actually a lot of apps out there now for, for download. They're going to show you how long you've quit. It'll show you how much money you've saved. So let's say you feel the urge, just check the app. You're going to see the dollar signs. That will help you stick with it. And here's the beauty. Once you quit smoking, your body will feel the benefits almost immediately. You're going to notice lower, well, potentially notice, easier breathing. You'll have lower blood pressure, better circulation, lower heart rate. Even your breathing, the coughing and the wheezing can very quickly improve. The best approach is both behavioral treatments combined in some cases with medications that can help people quit smoking. I urge folks out there, if you're trying to quit, there's a toll-free hotline U.S. Department of Health and Human Services has established 1-800-QUIT-NOW, 1-800-QUIT-NOW. That'll have resources to help you quit smoking once and for all. Drink the OJ for a breakfast. I don't need, I can't drink Pick anything upper, after, but after, after that. my whiff jar. And also realize once you stop smoking, stress is gonna happen, life is gonna happen. And then it's easy to say, oh, well, let me just pick up that cigarette again. Don't backtrack on all the hard work that you've done.